Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Wife BD, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on today. So let's get started. Also, guys, this is going to... I think this is going to be one of my taboo readings, okay? So the content can get explicit, sexual... Um, exotic, erotic, or what have you, okay? So if you would not like to hear content like that, then this may not be the reading for you to watch, okay? Otherwise, thanks for listening and for watching, guys. So the first message you have here is sensuality, okay? So this says sexual healing pleasure to the fullest. We have here, you make me feel a way no man can want to lick you up and down from head to toe lesbian high and steamy romance she's by curious desiring a woman's touch and we also have here i love when i can taste your orgasm and longing and yearning for you okay so first of all guys i will say um <laughs> it's very interesting it seems as if um there's a woman um who desires to be with another woman it seems as if this woman may um uh, be in a relationship with a man but she's really desiring to be with a woman on some level okay um i see lesbian here and both by curious desiring a woman's touch okay so uh, clearly this woman who i think is with another man is like you can make me feel a way no man can is probably with a woman um is heterosexual but tinkering along the lines of being bisexual okay perhaps she wants to be with somebody or be involved with somebody a woman sexually that's a lesbian um yeah but that's the, that's what's going on here i will say that for this person to be by curious um i feel like she 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 comes off like she's curious and she hasn't tried something before she likes uh, you know it's almost like she wants um uh, this experience from a woman who's had experience doing this type of thing but she don't come off like a pillow princess to me okay because a pillow princess could be by curious or whatever and would be involved sexually with a woman in secret or discreetly but a pillow princess just kind of lays back and you know allow you to you know have your way with them please them but they're not really into reciprocating it that okay this woman is like she wants to lick you up and down from head to toe like she's willing to be interactive um within what she desires with another woman okay so she don't seem like she's the pillar princess type or what have you but we're gonna see what else is going on here guys okay because yeah it's a lot going on okay but um it definitely seems as if this woman may be with um someone else okay so to clarify a uh, sexual healing pleasure to the fullest we have change here okay so whoever this woman is is desiring the sexual healing this pleasure to the fullest with another woman she's like yearning for some type of change in her life some type of difference uh in her life okay she's she's wanting something more something else or what have you that's the reason why she's like you make me feel a way no woman or no man can here yeah married woman sexually turned on by another woman here okay so so yeah, she's in fact married. We have marriage here. Okay. To clarify, um, want to lick you up and down from head to toe. We have main female here. Okay. 
Um, so clearly we know we're talking about feminines here. We're talking about women here. Um, to clarify, lesbian, it seems as if with courtship here, it's like she actually, she may want something a little bit more than just uh, sexual interaction with another woman. It's like she wants to date you but possibly in secret type of thing is it is it, really mind-blowing as many of these readings that i've done there's a lot of women who are <laughs> who are with men that is desiring uh other women sexually okay maybe you know it's just the day and time that we're in but it seems to amaze me okay um the interesting thing about that is is it, Usually women who feel like this about another woman feel sexually attracted to another woman, but is currently with a man. The, the, the sad part of it, like it could be fun, it could be exciting at first, but the sad part about it is um, that type of woman is, probably may uh, would always revert back to their man, okay? Um, perhaps they like the stability of the security or whatever that they get from that man. Um, that woman probably still likes intercourse and different things like that from a man. Um, so nine times out of 10, she probably hasn't reached a level where she's willing to leave her man to be in a serious committed relationship with a woman only, but she definitely, uh, is turned on, aroused, uh, sexually interested with, uh, being with someone of the same sex. So, like I said, it could be fun, it could be interesting in the beginning, but um, it's a little selfish, it's a little one-sided, okay? Because even though it may be fun and it may be interesting in the beginning, when it comes to the other person, it's like, you know, y'all can have fun together, y'all can have a good time, y'all can make, just make each other feel good, but at the end of the day, they're at home with their family, you go home and you might be by yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, what happens when you get to the point where you want something more serious? You, like, who's to say you don't want to be married one day, you don't want to have a family one day, you know what I'm saying? It's like this person wants you to be there to sexually gratify them and please them and what have you, but at the end of the day, you're alone. Okay, at the end of the day, after y'all get through having fun, they have a whole family, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're already in a committed relationship, so you know, and it, and it ties into like how does that really go, you know what I'm saying? So then, if you decide to get in a serious committed relationship with someone else, will this person then be upset? Um, would there then be a problem? You know, these are all the things that you have to think about, or whatever, and sometimes it do come off a little selfish or one sided because. It's like this person may desire you, this person may want you, um, and all that is fine and well, um, but it, you know, a lot of times it's about what that person wants, more so what, what will please you, what will make you happy, what you want. So, you know, I guess you have to use your own discernment and decide whether you want to be in a situation like that or whatever, because, I mean, you can have all the fun you want to have, but like... Nobody wants to be alone. At the end of the day, nobody really wants to be alone. Everybody wants to be loved by somebody. Um, and no matter how much fun you have, how, many, how much excitement you have in your life, how much good sex you have, we're not getting younger. We get older. You understand what I'm saying? And at some point, especially if you're already full grown, at some point... You know what I'm saying? You may want to settle down. You may want somebody who loves you and only you. You may want, you know, that commitment, that deeper bond with somebody. So, you know, like I said, these situations, you have to use your own discernment and decide, you know, what you will or won't tolerate or deal with or what is the, the stipulation to the situation. Is this a one-time deal? Is this just... Um, a good friend situation where when y'all hang out and have fun together, you know, y'all have a, a deeper, closer bond, you know, secretly or what have you, and it's just casual or whatever, or um, is it something more? I guess, you know, that's something that you all would have to discuss amongst yourselves, but, you know, those are those lingering, lingering thoughts, those lingering things in the back of your mind um, to think about when dealing with situations like this, okay, but it is really, really, it's, it's very interesting to me, just how many women, especially women that <laughs> uh, carry themselves like, there. y'all would be surprised as to how many well-to-do women out here, seemingly classy women, um, socialite type of women, um, uh, 
professional women, business women, uh, women that seems to have it all together. They have the husband, they have the family, they got the white picket fence or whatever. But you know, in the back of their minds, and you know what I'm saying, um, uh, deep down in the back of their diary somewhere, they're they're listening and they're fantasizing about someone of the same sex and you know different things that might really turn them on. And they would like to do. It's very interesting to me. It's really. It's really quite uh, interesting. So to clarify height and steamy romance, we have Distant Horizon here, okay? So this woman in the very near future, they want to court you, to date you, to have this experience with you this sexual healing this ple pleasure to the fullest with another woman here okay i will say i don't feel like this is like a threesome situation like this is i don't think this is a woman who is desiring to add another woman in the mix with her and her husband type of thing okay i feel like you know this is something that she wants for her she wants you know secretly yes discreetly yes but not like um threesome type of thing like this woman wants um you all to herself but you know so she she's seems as if she's willing to cheat on her husband um to be to have an experience with another woman okay so um to clarify she's by curious um desiring a woman's touch we have um privileged lady here okay so this lady here, like I just said, this could be a professional woman, a business woman, uh, the one, a, a, a socialite, a classy woman. She dressed nice. She looks good. She smells good. She seems to, as if she's got it all together. Um, yeah, she, but she's married. She has a family. Um, she probably has children, um, or what have you. Um, she's a privileged lady here. Okay, this is likely like a kept woman here. Okay, but now that's not to necessarily say that you know she. Um, isn't professional or you know independent on her own type of thing here but you know usually marriages you know come with more stability and different things like that or whatever family home you know um, um abundance security all those things that would have you okay but this woman is definitely it's like this privileged lady here is desiring um a sexual romance if you will with this main female here okay this person would really like with courtship being here it's like she wants to date you okay however long that may be um that's what she's interested in okay okay guys so let's get some further clarification um for this situation and see what else is going on here so we have sunglasses here this woman is definitely watching you okay wherever she's at she's at a distance she's watching she's looking she could even be stalking the sunglasses talks about one's perception to a situation here but she is watching you she's got her eye on you honey she is desiring some type of change within her life she wants to date um another woman here okay with the sword in the rose here this talks about clarity and truth okay so i feel like um she wants to tell you the truth okay so this says clarity truth revelations honor protection determination here okay so at some point she wants to contact you she wants to tell you the truth about how she feels about you uh, how she's desiring you um what she you know what she wants or how she feels okay uh, and to clarify, um, want to lick you up and down from head to toe, but she's by curious desiring a woman's touch. We have this seduction here, okay? So you definitely sexually turn this woman on, okay? This talks about attraction, teasing, hooking up and dating, third-party situations and temptations here, okay? So she's watching you. She wants to tell you how she feel about you, how you turn her on, how she's sexually attracted to you. Okay, guys, that's what's going on on here okay yeah you've ignited the passion within this woman here okay this woman is watching you because you turn her on like a whole lot okay to the point where it's like she just can't take it anymore okay um she wants to tell you the truth with shadows being here i feel like she wants to reach out to you in secret i feel like she wants to 
hook up with you in secret in some type of way for you all to have this encounter together we've got temptation here so she's definitely got lustful thoughts and temptations about you um you really turn this woman off okay um yeah so she has a lot of attraction for you for sure this says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay she definitely wants to enjoy this moment fully with you because like i said you have ignited some type of passion within this woman okay um we also have here getting to know each other this says a lot uh, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens here okay so this is the reason why at some point she wants to reach out to you she wants to tell you the truth she wants to she wants y'all to get to know each other better okay um she wants to meet up or link up with you in the shadows and secret behind the scenes okay um to clarify seduction and temptation we have flirting here okay so she's definitely wants to flirt with you this says extend your light-hearted energy to others here okay so this woman is for sure uh desiring you okay without a doubt Okay, so we have thought here, okay? This woman cannot stop thinking about you, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you. Um, they're like, this person is like all up in their head, honey. This person is sitting here holding their head. They're all up in their head about how they feel about you, okay? Um, you really turn this person on, okay? You make this person want to change their mind, okay? Yeah, this person wants like joyfulness with you. They she she wants a coming together with you. She wants y'all to have a joyful, cheerful, fun, excitement, delight together, okay? We also have sweetheart here, okay? So this person see you as a sweetheart, okay? Um you could be very loving, kind, generous, affectionate type of person. This woman could also be uh, a sweetheart energy herself, okay? But she definitely wants this union with you. This says integration union here. She wants this coming together with you, no doubt here, okay? It definitely would be a fulfillment of her wish here, okay? And she's like hot for you, honey. She has a lot of attraction for you with this Mars energy here that she just can't hold back any more okay okay guys so um let's look at this okay so we have the lovers here this person definitely the lovers really it, it depends on what else the lovers is coupled up with if the lover standing alone is somebody who wants to be sexually intimate with you okay um or somebody that you have been sexually intimate with like if, if, if the lovers was with uh coupled with the two of cups then this would be uh, a lover situation but there would be a, a committed with like a, a relationship okay if you got say the lovers the two of cups and the four of wands that would probably be a marriage okay um but the lovers sending alone um this person desires to be sexually intimate with you no doubt here okay yeah we have the ace of cups here so this would be some type of emotional fulfillment for her okay this woman feels extreme feelings and open woman emotions for you already um especially sitting here with you make me feel a way no man can okay so she she wants that interaction with another woman it would be emotional fulfillment for her it would fulfill her hopes or her wishes her dreams her desires here okay yes true enough this would be a third party situation here with the three of cups being here but this woman wants to tell you how they want to lick you up and down <laughs> from head to toe and in everything here okay we have the seven of cups here um the seven of cups can talk about choices decisions it can also speak to one having options here okay um this woman may have her eye on more than one woman okay maybe she's been weighing her options as to who she wants to hook up with link up with i feel like this woman may have messed around with another woman before secretly okay but she is desiring you okay either she has options or you have options okay um 
but somebody has like several different options or choices or decisions to choose from or something like that but she wants she has decided that she wants this lover situation um with you here yeah two of cups here she definitely wants some type of relationship some type of partnership with you here the ace of swords she definitely wants to tell you the truth she wants to give you clarity um about how she desires this you know this third party situation with you she wants y'all to come together in celebration okay um she wants you all to rejoice together have a good time have fun here okay and she's very motivated and determined okay to take action to move forward passionately towards you and make you some type of offer here okay yeah and i feel like she wants to do it in secret with the hermit card being here i definitely feel like um she wants to do this discreetly she wants to do this secretly this is what makes me feel like um this is not a situation where she wants you to be some third will to her and her husband even though this would still be her cheating in a third party situation she's not desiring you to be you know like involved in a threesome with her and her husband type of things here okay this is a queen of swords aquarius libra a gemini woman who is desiring this 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 lover's sexual uh experience with another woman here she's been hanging around in limbo waiting in uh, suspicion okay for the perfect time to come in and express her feelings and her emotions to you here okay she's been in mental conflict about whether or not to get involved in this third party situation here okay um she has many options but this would be a hope wish or dream come true for her here okay she is really desiring you, okay? And she feels like um, you can make her hopes, which is her dreams, come true here. Yes, she would be lying. Yes, she'd be sneaking and creeping around. Yes, she would be cheating with the Seven of Swords being here with the Two of Cups here, okay? But she is desiring change in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And she, she has decided that she wants that change with you, okay? Um, she's hoping that you would be understanding to this okay um there was a couple of women uh when i was pulling these uh messages there were a couple of women that um this woman could even be sent back manifesting you okay um there was a couple of women she had her eyes on because i feel like she has her she she has choices she was looking at a queen of wands woman as well as a queen of pentacles woman okay but let's see spirit um tell us more clarify this three of wands please yeah she just wants she wants she wants to feel good she wants happiness abundance a new beginning a fresh start something different um, she wants that laughter, that cheer, that fun, that excitement, that passion, that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, um, is what this woman is desiring here, okay? We have the eight of wands here. So this woman is definitely going to send you some type of messages, news, information, or communication to make some type of offer to you, okay? Yeah. She wants growth. She wants she wants to passionately move forward here. Okay? But she wants to do so discreetly with the, the with the ace of wands sitting here with the hermit. She wants to do so discreetly in secret um behind her husband's back type of thing um you know nobody has to know um it's two of ones at the bottom of the deck here um it's like she has clear vision and has made a decision okay but we i if i pull the next card we have the two of swords here as well so they're like this would put you at some type of crossroads like you would have to like this word person has made a decision but you would all have to also have to make a decision as to whether or not um, you would want to be a part of this type of situation, okay? So that's what's going on here, honey. That is what is going on. Let's see if Spirit have any extra messages for you all. Um, So this woman definitely desires a friendship with you. She just wants a close friendship with you, okay? She wants another type of friendship with you. 
Spirit, what else is going on? I also see here relationship. So even though she wants this friendship with you, she wants y'all to have like a deeper bond, like a deeper relation, a sexual relationship with one another. Okay. Spirit, any other messages? I see courage here. She's working up the courage to um express her feelings towards you but eventually i see honesty here eventually she's just going to come out and be honest with you about how she feels um for you okay i guess you never know to yes type of things <laughs> um so at some point in time she's she's going to come forward she's going to tell you um, you know how she feels about you, you know, uh, let you know, you know that you turn her on or Or what have you or what it is exactly um, She would like to Have with you Spirit are there any other messages? Are there any other messages spirit? So I see reservation here, okay? So this talks about des uh, desire, words, and extravagance here. This woman is definitely desiring you, okay? It's like, you see how this person on here, how this person like is like uh, infatuated with this car type of thing? That's how this person is feeling about you, okay? This person, oh goodness, this person may even try <laughs> Um, this person may even try this says persuasion bribe or temptation here this person might try to persuade you in some type of way bribe you in some type of way tempt you in some type of way Sarah what else is going on this person wants an alliance with you, okay? This says trust, honest, and compatibility here. It's like this person is working up the courage to, to come along. They want to have this alliance with you. Yeah, we got indul uh, indulgence here as well. Let's see how the girls is just hanging out and having some drinks and having some fun. Uh, that's how she wants to be with you. This says interaction, joy, and friendliness, okay? But, you know, she wants, you know, you all to be intimate with one another. She wants you all to be sexual with one another, honey, okay? So that is what is going on here. Let's, um... Yeah, this person can't stop watching you, Spirit is saying. She cannot stop watching you. She can't get her eyes off of you. She might be a newlywed. I see newlywed couple. She may be a newlywed. But she has a lot of passion for you, okay? She definitely desires you. She don't have to be a newlywed, but they are definitely, she's definitely married now, however long they've been together. What else is going on? Yeah, this woman is a freak in the sheets, but she's a lady in the streets. <laughs> Ooh. Spare, what else is going on? This woman is open-minded sexually. Spirit, what else? This, this person wants you all to, like, go out, um... 
like on like a I guess it's like a date. Like go out, have fun, and just like you know, hang out or something. Spirit, what else is going on here? What are the messages? I don't know if this woman is unfulfilled and unsatisfied or is she just desiring something more? Um, you give this woman butterflies? <laughs> she, may, she may feel some type of butterflies or something around you or at the thought of you or something like that. Okay, we have here please to the fullest. You could be someone who is single and free to mingle. Okay, which is another reason this person may, you know, have their eye on you. Spirit, what other messages do I need to share? Whether they're newlywed or not, for some of you, um, this may be someone who is a newlywed. For others of you, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a newlywed, but she's definitely married here, okay? She kind of feels like she's stuck staying together for the sake of the kids. Um, for some of you, they hate being they hate they, they may hate being married to this person if they've been married a long time um they're stuck staying together for the they feel like they're stuck staying with that person for the sake of the kids but um they hate being there or something we have here somebody want their cake and eat it too okay what else is going on one more message please spirit one more message please spirit this person definitely wants y'all to go on a date together I keep seeing that but this woman feels like they this person wants sexual healing with you in some type of way. She wants some type of um I feel like she thinks you can give her some type of sexual healing. This woman could be middle class to upper class. Whoever you are, you may be middle class to lower class, but this woman is definitely middle class to upper class. Okay. This person feels like you will fulfill their every desire. Yeah. So we have here meeting someone new. So this is someone new. This is not someone that you that you know. Okay? They like you. It says I like you. This person could be kind of sexually frustrated. Like, I'm not sure what's going on. Or, um, this not necessarily to say that, um, they're not getting any with their husband. But maybe, you know, it's not the same as what they would get with a woman <laughs> type of thing, okay? Um, so are there any other messages, guys? This person wants you to be their lover, homie, friend, okay? This person wants to be, like, good friends with you, but wants to be lovers with you, too, type of thing, okay? 
So that's what's going on here, guys. I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. Um, for those of you all who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at the 36 diamonds. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company, and which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, because if you stay ready... You ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Also, guys, we didn't have any other face cards that came out besides hers. This woman could be an air sign, Quirus, Libra, or Gemini, but, um, or either she has air in her chart if she's not an air sign. Um, but, I mean, it, it could be any any other woman of any sign that she is interested in, okay? Because we got a, we had a whole lot of energy that came out here. So, this could be any other woman that she might be um, interested in, guys, okay? So, that's what's going on, honey. Um, y'all take care of yourself. Y'all be safe and make good decisions.